afternoon. This is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John in Maxville, Kansas on cable channel 3 and also on sandylandcenter.org and of course if you're not on cable you can always see all of the things that go on uh, TV pretty much by going to sandylandcenter.org, our website. And we do have a lot of people from around the county and uh, in different cities that watch what's on our news and the meetings of the commissioners and all kinds of things like that. So try it out, sandylandcenter.org. Today is Friday, it's the 10th of August already. It's 81 degrees at noontime. And uh, we're having a sunny day today, 92 at noon here in the square. I'm sorry, 81 here in the square. 92 will be the high this afternoon. Then uh, Saturday is partly cloudy and windy, 95. Sunday, isolated thunderstorms and 98. We actually have a 30% chance of, of rain on Sunday. So that's a good day. We'll all be praying for rain at church. And so that will maybe make it better than 30%. Then on Monday, uh, sunny and 94, but early in the morning there's a 20% chance we might have rain there as well. <clears throat> Tuesday, cloudy and 94. Uh, Wednesday, partly cloudy and 97. Uh, so that's, uh, isn't that a great week to have without a single hundred or above? And uh, 92 today, which is a really nice low. It almost feels cool outside at 92. Happy birthday today to Clarence Messick. And on uh, Sunday, happy anniversary to Joe and Christy Snyder. We hope that you have really good uh, special days. Then for our uh, channel over the weekend, particularly on uh, Sunday, we have programs for people to watch, especially if you're a shut-in. Uh, the First Baptist Church service is live at 11 o'clock. And then at 1 o'clock will be the Board of Education meeting for USD 350. And that's uh, sponsored by the St. John uh, Farm Bureau. So we thank them for sponsoring that. And then in the evening at 6.30, the United Methodist Church from Antrim will have their service from the morning, and then it will be broadcast at 6.30 in the evening. <coughs> the, uh, the Dodge City uh, trip uh, to the uh, casino and shopping has been changed, and it's scheduled for Wednesday the 22nd. And you can uh, still sign up, although there's a concern that if the temperature is a lot over 90, uh, they're not sure they want to have uh, a lot of people in the bus as far as Dodge City away when the air conditioner isn't all that reliable. Uh, the forecast is for 97, the high temperature. Uh, so it would probably be around uh, 94 or so at noontime. Uh, so anyway, if you're interested, you could uh, leave your number with the Recreation Commission and make your reservation and then they'll call you uh, when they're sure uh, that they'll be able to take the bus. <clears throat> now, we have uh, important menus because the Senior Fellowship Meals are really important programs uh, for our area agency on aging. And uh, the sunflowers here in St. John are one, and in Maxville they have the other, the VIP Center. So today the sunflowers are ham having salmon patty, ham and beans, and fresh fried potatoes. Monday they'll be having meatloaf, potatoes, and gravy. Uh, Tuesday they'll have fish and red potatoes. The, uh, The sunflowers here in town are having spaghetti with meat sauce today, beef enchiladas and refried beans on Monday, and on Tuesday beef stroganoff 
on noodles. And so those are the menus, and it's really a good thing. And if you're a senior citizen, you have a really good discount. Uh, but even if you're not a senior citizen, you might want to go there and try lunch sometimes. And you just have to pay the, the full price. Uh, we have a notice from the Stafford County Solid Waste Department. And that's it. Uh, as of now, the Stafford County landfill hours are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 3.30. And on Saturday, the first Saturday of the month from 8 o'clock until noon. And they also have electronic waste generally on that Saturday. <coughs> As, uh, as we speak, the, uh, our sister center over in Stafford, the Stafford Senior Center, uh, they're having a blood drive right now, and they'll be having it until 4 o'clock. And uh, you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make an appointment, but I would say I would just run over there right now uh, if you're inclined to give blood, and I'm sure they will try to uh, squeeze you in. Uh, now, if you're watching this at 6.30 on Friday, uh, you're too late. <coughs> well, another thing not to be too late for is the Rally in the Valley. And it's, in, it's hosted by Eden Valley Church, the Brethren. Uh, and they're coming to the square in St. John, uh, the east side of the square. And they're saying, bring your family, come and enjoy the fun and music. And the fun is uh, on the east side of the square, bicycle, well, actually motorcycle games and bicycle games with prizes. Uh, kids can bring their bicycles and, and uh, enter the games. Four to six is face painting and kids' games and crafts. Four o'clock is music by Russ Shelton and other local talent. And at 5 o'clock is a free uh, pulled pork sandwich. And uh, they might have a thing to drop contributions in. Uh, they have in the past. Uh, and then finally at 6.45, there's a drawing uh, for kids' bikes. And there's a raffle for a quilt. So they say, bring your own lawn chair and enjoy the whole afternoon. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to, uh, you can bring a folding chair. You don't have to bring the lawn chair. But, uh, or you can sit on the wall. I would recommend bringing a chair, though, because the, when, as, as we get older, the wall seems to get harder and harder to sit on. Well, that's all the news and announcements for, for right now for you. Uh, the word of the day is uh, one that's a little bit twisted from how you usually hear it. And that's, nothing is impossible for those who don't have to do it themselves. This is Jim Lakey, hoping you have a great weekend.